I'd like to attribute the following range building exercise to my trumpet teacher, Mark Van Cleve, and his trumpet teacher, Jerry Franks. Range has to do with the vibration of the lip. A fast vibration equals a high note and a slow vibration, a low note. I want you to imagine if you were back as a little child and you're on the front lawn with a hose and you want to square a friend that's far uh, on the other side of the lawn. Well, one option is to turn up the the faucet so the water shoots out more. But another way to do it, of course, is to make a nozzle using your thumb over the tip and it shoots across the, uh, the lawn because we made a smaller hole. It's jetting through. Well, the same concept could be used with playing trumpet. Uh, when we are trying to create range to get a faster vibration, one way is to just push the wind quicker, jet the wind down quicker. But another way is to create the nozzle effect as we did with the hose, and that's using our lips to creating a smaller nozzle, which generates a quicker a wind, a quicker vibration, a higher note. Now, to apply this idea of the nozzle effect of closing down the nozzle or opening up, getting a higher note or a lower note, can be applied to lip slurs. Lip slur being playing uh, from one fingering of one pitch to the same fingering of another pitch, like low C to G. If you play a low note and you play it, uh, you get an open setting with your embouchure. Low notes, your, open, your mouth opens up. Likewise, when you play a high note in general, it closes up more. And if you also play a note really, really loud, the mouth will tend to open up to get the wind through. Likewise, when you play really, really soft, the embouchure will close up to hold that wind back to support the vibration. So, if we put this together, imagine you are a weight a trainer and you're using a dumbbell and you want to exercise this entire range of motion for the muscles to teach it to go all the way down and bring it all the way up or as a trumpet player to open up the embouchure to play an open setting and building all the way up to a closed setting this full range of motion to get our lips or this nozzle effect to work we need to then combine these two ideas playing low notes which gives you an open setting and loud notes which give you open setting. We do those together, we get low, loud, most open setting. Likewise, if we play our high notes which gives a closed setting, also soft which gives a closed setting, thus we have low notes, loud, give the most open setting and high notes, uh, soft, gives the most closed setting we're getting this nozzle effect to happen. If we play it the opposite way by combining low notes, which give you open setting, soft, which gives you a closed setting, so our embouchure right in the middle, and high notes, which gives you closed setting, loud, which gives you open setting, you'll notice that our embouchure or our nozzle hasn't moved at all because they counteract each other. So if we're playing our lip slurs and still changing pitches, but our embouchure hasn't changed, then what did change? And the only other answer in this case is the wind. In other words, the faucet. We've been turning up, flow more wind or water in this case, or uh, slowing down the wind. So speeding up, pushing more wind, or relaxing it, pushing less wind. The problem here is if we want to play high notes soft, then if our only way of generating the range is through pushing the wind, we can't do that. So the exercise is like this. Low notes loud, high notes softer. So. <laughs>
open setting to a closed setting. And we can also do this as we add more notes. So low loud to high softer, it will end up being like a pyramid. Loud, medium loud, softer. <laughs> This continues on if I add notes. As we continue this, low, loud, high, softer, we're going to continue this nozzle effect. So I encourage you to add this low, loud, high, softer uh, to your lip slurs. Extend not only to two, three, four note lip slurs, Try to get all the way up to seven note lip slurs, which brings you up to C above the staff and higher. This does improve the range. Try it with your students, and I think you'll find a lot of benefits from it.